Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. We will be using several different oracle cards plus the tarot to get an overall feel for your week ahead. This is for Virgo. We're going to pull you a major arcana card to see what's going on. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see. We have the High Priestess. So a lot of things hidden here, but using your intuition, Virgo, listening to your higher self could be some secrets involved here, things hidden. Let's see where this is going. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? What does... Virgo need to know. What does Virgo need to know? We have helpful people. So you're trying to navigate, I feel, a very difficult situation. And there's a lot of hidden emotion involved. And it's like, you don't really know what to do. Your higher self's trying to tell you one thing, but your 3D self is trying to tell you another. And I feel like there are those around you, there are people around you that are going to ha help you to navigate and make the decisions that you need to make here, Virgo. All right. So let's see where this is going. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? We have ladder, climbing towards success. So it's like one step at a time, whether this is in love, whether this is in your career. Um, there, it's, it's like you're not listening to your own intuition here. But there are things, there are people around you that um, I feel are a bit shady. But I feel like you're well on your way. You're well on your way and you got help here. You've got help here. So let's see where this is going. Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? It's like an uphill battle, you know? It's like a... It's you're you're right in the thick of it. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? <clears throat> what does Virgo need to know? Okay. All right. You're trying to find a little bit of stability for yourself here. You, There's a big decision that you need to make. All right. And you're very, very protective of yourself right now and pretty wounded. When it comes to love, this is definitely involving a past connection that uh, is pulling on your energy, thinking a lot about the situation. And I feel like a lot of information is going to kind of come to light. It has been a difficult journey with this person, but it's like you have all of these questions. And um, I feel a second chance may be given. This is a huge decision, but your walls are up and you're very protective of yourself. So it's, it's been an uphill battle in regards to love and I feel like in regards to career the same thing it is an uphill battle but it's all it's it's all like coming to this major decision here and I feel like 
in regards to career, there is a helping hand from a past person that you share a close connection with. You're going to be getting information from this individual and it's they're trying to help you. They're trying to get you out of a, I feel, a difficult situation and you've got a big decision to make. Um, some of you may be moving, but I do see things balancing out for you. And But I do see you going in a new direction that is going to give you more success because right now in 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 your current career situation virgo you are suspicious of those around you you feel like things are being kept from you and they probably are you got a lot of hidden emotion that you're keeping to yourself at the moment and i feel like you're questioning everybody's motives so let's get into it all right so Six of Cups here, especially when it comes to love, Virgo, there's someone on your mind and it's because they're pulling on your energy. They're thinking of you, so you're thinking of them. Very difficult journey here with this person and you feel like there's more to the story. So, um, and your walls are up. This person has wounded you. You feel like, you know, your things are being kept from you. There is divine guidance here, and I feel like there are not only divine guidance, but there are maybe friends, family, uh, that that is going to help you through this. Like, you're going to have to talk through it with somebody before you make that decision. And again, in, and in regards to career, there's someone from your past trying to give you a helping hand, trying to give you a push in a new direction that's going to help you with your success there's information here that you're going to have to deal with all right i feel like there's things coming out and i also feel like things aren't moving the way that you want them to move things aren't going at the pace you want them to go knight of swords here so a lot of things happening that you're going to have to kind of digest and process and think through and you're going to be kind of um, getting advice, getting advice, whether it's love or money, all right? Whether it's love or money. Um, I do feel an unexpected return of the past and a possible second chance here, but you're go really going to process this and question if the situation can still be successful. In regards to career, I feel like there's information, unexpected information Maybe some unexpected opportunities, right? From someone from your past trying to pull you out of a difficult situation. All of this, you're going to have to process and you're going to need some advice, whether from friends, family, spiritually, um, emotionally, like therapy, whatever. You're going to have to process this information, but you need to go where it's good. You need to go where people are giving. You need to go where people are caring, especially in regards to um, a work situation. All right. I do see money improving for you once you are out of a very negative space. In regards to love, I see uh, this person coming to be very generous to you, trying to balance things out. And I do feel like you're going to kind of reconsider the situation. Your focus is happiness. Your focus is trying to gain that stability and finding your happy place again. That this is what you want. This is what you want, whether it's love or money. Some readers call this the 1111 card. You need to be in a, in a space around people that you are very comfortable with. In regards to love, you, you want a beautiful commitment. You want things to work out, whether it's with or without this person. And it depends on, in regards to love, it depends on the words that they say and how... How much they've changed and how giving they are to the situation like i said uphill battle uphill battle it's like that uphill climb what's that miley cyrus song 
and that's what you're experiencing and you really really need to tap into your higher power here you really really need to tap into your intuition yes get your your advice from your trusted counsel whoever that may be and uh, make a decision based on a huge process of information because it's going to be big You've got a major decision coming your way, whether it's love or money. However, this is relating to your specific situation. Please clarify the judgment card for Virgo. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. You're going towards the new, clearly. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's love here. <laughs> you're going towards the new. And I feel like in regards to career, this is something that you're going to give your heart to. And it's very successful. But it's almost like you need some advice. You need a push. You need a helping hand to get there. And you will be very successful. You have the courage and strength to do this. Leo energy over here in regards to... um love you you know it could be a fresh start with someone here if you want it Virgo if you want it let us pull some advice cards for you Virgo These are the fairy dust cards that I picked up in New Orleans a couple weeks ago. So let's see what the fairies want to say to Virgo. Let's see. We have sleep. Underneath the nighttime skies, fairies sing you lullabies. So a lot going on in your dreams. I feel like the divine. Maybe fairies. Maybe angels, your higher self is trying to get messages to you so that the situation will be less difficult because there's a big transition happening when you make this decision. Really tap into that and I would suggest getting a sleep journal and jotting, jotting things down. A lot of dreaming going on. A lot of dreaming going on. In, in regards to love, I feel like this past person is pulling on your energy so hard. They've infiltrated your dreams as well. So keep that in mind. But you're in theirs. So you have the strength and courage to make the decisions that you need to make. Whether it's a fresh start in love or a whole new scene when it comes to a job situation. All right. All right, Virgo, that is what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Rumble. And I'll leave those links down below in the description box. Virgo, you have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.